Oh yeah. What's up guys? Alright. Well, I'm looking for a couple short videos to do, so I so I'm not really taking up too much of people's time. And I wanna kinda get used to making like five minute videos. So I'm gonna get like straight to the point and this allows me more time to like edit and make sure things look cool and you know just upgrade in general um because i want to stay consistent with this so let's get right into it so in furnace difficulty eight probably one of the most easiest things to do after you like beat the main campaign um once you can do solid like chrono six or seven or something like that and you finish the campaign you can kind of, or Chronos 10, whichever, um, you can kind of go straight to 8. This is pretty easy, um, but later, you know, end game level, you want to kind of farm it super fast. Just super fast. You want to, if you're doing bounties or something like that, you, you want to be able to bang it out super quickly. I think this team that I have right now, actually, let's see. Let's check for a second. Uh... You know, for most of my clips, I'm going to take out Gaius, mainly because he, he just makes things a lot easier. So let's look at my record. Um, for right now, I'm sitting at, for Infernus, if this will stop swiping, it's 34 seconds, which is not that bad. And, and this is the exact team that I think is up there. Yeah. So it's all flow. You know, flow does a lot of damage to Infernus. I don't know if you notice, but flow does more damage to the fire type of uh, Sonic Miracle. So we're gonna go straight into it. I'm gonna take out Gaius. It was at 34 seconds. Let's see what we can do with, hmm, I need another flow person. Let's see, she's cool, you know, Sir Cat. I want someone easy, you know, cause not everyone has Gaius and I was fortunate enough to get him. So instead of picking a five star, I'm gonna go ahead. I mean, it doesn't need to be flow, but that's kind of the theme that I'm going for this video. So let's do Sirket. Sirket's good because she puts poison stacks down and poison stacks build up, which is 4% of uh, your health. So every poison stack that goes off is four, 8%, 16, you know, stuff like that, 12. All right, so just to show you my builds. All right, uh, we've gone over him in a couple of, uh, Usually he's comboed the best with his twin brother, but the reason why I have him here now by himself is because he has a 30% lead, you know, for uh, Ritual Miracles, Sonics, and Desolate Lands, Sentinel Hunt, and stuff like that. Actually, I didn't know that Sentinel Hunt was there. That's cool. Um, so I have him on crit damage, attack, attack, yes. And then what do I have Sir Cat as? I don't think I built her correctly. I think I really cared about accuracy? No, I didn't. Oh. I have her on crit rate, attack, attack. Maybe that's for Sentinel Hunt that I had this built like this, but I really just wanted her a little fast and had some attack, not just rely solely on her. Basically all her moves, you can read it yourself. You know, she, she just has a lot of disease and poison. You know, um, Mona, of course, attack, attack. Speed, doesn't matter, as long as she's dealing out a lot of damage. Uh, Dahlia, of course. Uh, I'm just going to go through her wounds. HP accuracy. I love having her fully stacked out on accuracy. Some people build her attack, which I could, but usually I, I just wanted her fast and um, accuracy really high because I use her for a lot of things. I need her to stay alive. Um, the most OP person for this is Zheng Meng, Meng Po, whichever. She is awesome. Those stacks that she puts, Nether Bloom is you can read it yourself it like from her main move that puts it five times on them and then the fact that she attacks two random in enemies and still applies nether bloom stacks uh and then when they explode i think it's fit what is it okay this blast deals damage equal to 85 percent of the caster's attack damage so every single <laughs> explosion that it based off of how much attack did I give her? I have about around 3,500. Yeah, 3,500. And yeah, let's see how it goes without Gaius. And it will just load forever and never take us into what we want to see. All right. Of course, we have our cutscenes, of course, for Dahlia. A little laggy, but that's all right. 
as long as what's cool is that they only have one round before the main boss um uh, let's just let it rock just so you guys can see it happen we have speed down which is obviously good you can see the little head at the bottom what oh <laughs> this was on difficulty one i was like what in the name i was like new record okay <laughs> let's go back to eight i was wondering why i finished it super fast all right we're gonna go back into this all right cool this seems more likely there we go we got sir Ket doing her thing shaking her body and sending out some poison for everybody Poison, poison stacks all around. Then we got the Nether Bloom Rain Hell. Cool. Of course, Dahlia coming in there to explode some Nether Bloom stacks, and he just dies from just all the things on him. So without guys, let's see how well this goes. And I'm curious on how fast it's gonna go. So we're both gonna see it. We have the stacks, the poison stacks, and the Nether Bloom stacks adding up, exploding, slow from Dahlia. Of course, some crit damage straight from Mona. Um, this isn't really AP focused, how I normally have a lot of my uh, Sonic miracles. So I'm wondering if this is gonna do terrible. Of course, he does a lot of damage. I think he's just gonna die from the MS. Yeah, exactly. So there's so many stacks. He gets to go once, which isn't enough damage to kill the whole team. Of course, we have Dolly at the end posing. Victory screen. 56 seconds. Not bad. I mean, if I put this on a rotation of 10 turns, uh, 10 battles, you know, it would probably cut it down to maybe 40. But I hope this build helps you out. Um, mainly, it's just flow. And I feel like that really makes this so much faster. You know, because you're getting the elemental boon. And of course, I'm going to show you with Gaius. How much he just nukes everyone to death. <laughs> so we have Dahlia, and of course Mona. Mm. We're in the seven minute mark. So right after this, I just want to show you how fast it is. See, guys hasn't even gone, and that's awesome. So of course, speed down. Mona, thunderstorm. Let's see how much life gets taken away. Boom! That's at least 30% of his health. And he didn't have any stacks on him or defense breaks or anything like that. So, of course, raining hell. And I think he's just about dead. Yep, Let's see how fast this is. Same team, went to 34 seconds, but let's see what this one does. 36, cool. So if someone wants to run this and with Gaius, you can get that number down. Uh, I'm trying to get it even lower, but it's one of the last things that are on my mind right now. I hope this video helped you out. Please like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Comment if you have a better build, and I'll show it. You know, anything to cut this number down would be an improvement. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Peace.